Hello guys, my name is Adhanshu Kapoor. I am your instructor. So uh, today we talk about how to how to create storage account, okay, and how we can use Blob Storage, okay. So in my past video or my previous video, you can we already discuss about four types of services. As I provide you, as I provide you four types of storage, you can see that four type of storage services. Number one is Blob Storage. Second is file storage, third is queue storage, and fourth is table storage. So I already told you that if we if we using blob storage, so blob storage is used it is is for unstructured data. Unstructured data means that you are not planned to save anything. Okay, like like imagine you want to save some 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 pics. Okay, you want to save some uh, video files, you want to save some audio files, you want to save some applications. Okay, you want to save some uh, confidential files. Okay, so what we can do? We can first make one container. Okay, like imagine if I want to uh, uh, save some pictures. So what I do, I can make one picture container, and in that I can upload or or upload my or upload my pictures. Okay, like imagine if you want to uh, save some confidential files, so I make one container confidential, and then we can go. So like container is a folder. Okay, so if I open Paint, I'll showing you that how it work. So like this is my storage account. Okay, and in that. This is the container you can say that. Okay, and in that we have a files in that case. Okay, so uh, it's connected with each other. This is and there is a connected with each other. So like uh, uh, like imagine this is the storage account we have. Storage account. Okay, this is my storage account. In that storage account, I create two containers. Imagine uh, one is the one is one container is is used for pics. Like imagine I am save some. Pics, okay, and I want to save some. Uh, uh, you can see that official files, okay. I want to save some official files. So this is my uh, uh, two containers I created, okay. Now uh, the, in in this container I want to save the data, okay. This is the blob. You can see that this is known as the blob. This is the blob. You can see that blob, okay. And this is the container we have. Okay, so I want save like imagine over there I save uh, I save two pics number one uh, pic dot jpeg okay and number two also I can save over there uh, pic two dot jpeg okay fine like this. Now, uh, so this 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 uh, uh, pics belongs to this con this pics container, okay? And we have another one official files. Like imagine I have some official files. This is file one. It belongs to uh, docs, okay? And we have uh, file two. It belongs to imagine uh, PPT, okay? So uh, like this, okay? So like this we can save, okay? So this is the structure you can set of blob storage, okay? So we can we need to first create a storage account, and in that we can create containers, and in that container we can save the files, okay? So this is the structure you have. So now let's start the practical guys, okay? So uh, I have already opened my portal, so I have just right over there search and search. Uh, storage account so click on storage account over there so right now i'm going to create storage account click on add okay when you click on add they gives you all the information okay so as you can see that uh, the create storage account page is open okay now i need to first create resource group so i click on create a new resource group this is for storage hyphen rg Okay, this is the name of my uh, resource group. Now I need to give the storage name. So this is name as you can see that storage storage one. Okay, uh, the lower case letters and numbers. So we need lower case. So storage one. This is my okay. It's already taken. So I go for this. Okay, so let's see. This is go for storage account one. Storage account replace already taken. Let's take some time. <coughs> then call st hyphen one. No. St blob hyphen one. Okay, it's taken. Just a minute, guys.
Okay, so I've taken uh, this uh, store VLO. Okay, I just take the name of this. So, so you, need, you know that the, the name should be unique. So in all over the world, globally, your name is unique. So okay, you can give the name. This is my storage name. And now a storage account name and I need to give the location. So I'm using East US. Okay, now we have two types of storage uh, storage performance, standard and premium. So if you're talking about the standard, so if you click on the performance, so performance means in standard, what happens in standard? In standard, it, it uh, uh, you can say that uses the like if I if I click on this, I should it show uh, uh, stately told you that if you're talking about this the standard storage, it's backup the magnetic device. Okay, so you can say that uh, if if you choose standard number one, it backup your storage in in uh, in magnetic magnetic dr uh, uh, drives, and number second, the standard uh, storage cost is low. Okay, but if you're talking about the premium one, okay, so premium uh, one uh, stores. And uh, or you can see that stores in SSD hard disks, hard disk drive. So it uses SSD drives because uh, uh, and uh, the, the performance of premium is very fast. And it, uh, of course, and the, the cost of the premium is also very, uh, very high because uh, if you talk, if a comparison of standard and premium to so standard using magnetic drives and premium using SSD drives. So you, you already know that SSD drive is very fast. Okay. So as, the, as per cost, we can use standard right now. Okay. If you want high performance if you want high speed then you can use performance uh, premium sorry okay over there so premium if you click on premium so it saves your data in uh, ssd drives okay it gives you low latency okay the speed is very fast it gives you high performance but if you go for standard the speed, speed is some slow because it, it uses magnetic device okay and the cost is also low in that case okay now we have i already told you we have three types of accounts okay in my last video i discussed about already general purpose one general purpose two and block storage okay so if you use uh, storage version two okay general purpose version two so it uh, it supports all the four types of storage Okay, general purpose, uh, uh, gen, uh, you can say that storage version 2 and version 1, these, bo these both of, uh, you can say that accounts are, are supports all, all type of storage. But, but if I'm using blob storage only, okay, account type, I've used blob storage. So I'm able to use only blob storage. I'm not able to use rest three storages types. Okay, so basically by default, uh, uh, this is the new, this is the newer version of storage account. Okay, storage version two, and it supports all type of storage because we always use this. Now, replication. Replication means how you, uh, how your storage is uh, replicate to the servers. Okay, so by default, that uh, we have these are these all are the options. Like if we're talking about the first one, so local rent storage means like. Uh, Imagine if I, if I, uh, you can see that the local hidden storage means the, 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 this storage is replicated with the local servers, the nearest server you can show that. Okay. Zone hidden storage means like imagine if I'm, if I'm using, uh, I'm getting my user uh, storage account in East US. Okay. So this storage is replicated with East US only. Okay, not other uh, other locations. Okay, if I choose geo written storage, so it's geographical written storage means like if I am creating my storage in East US, so I'm able to access my storage in anywhere in the in the region, anywhere in the world. Like if I if I if I if my storage put uh, available in East US, so uh, with the help of West US also I'm able to access this uh, this storage. Okay, but that is known as geo storage. GRS okay now the, the, the fourth one is read access geo so it's the same thing is there but it's only a read access okay you're not able to modify means someone someone other other person is not able to modify my storage okay geo redden uh, uh, geo zone redden storage means it, it works on zones as well as a uh, geographical location also but this if I choose this this storage replicate to my zone also this, this story replicate to all other geographical locations also if I'm using read access the last one fifth one so it means my this storage is able to replicate my zone also and other geographical locations also and it all have read access so the other people is not able to modify my storage they're able to access it but they're not able to uh, uh, modify my storage so by default uh, uh, you can see the application type is we are using is read access geo redden storage means this storage is replicated to all my geographical locations but i'm able to uh, I must, but some someone is able to uh, only read it. Someone, someone, someone has only read access. They are not able to modify the storage. Okay. Now another option we have access tire. We have cool and hot. So cool hot means we have two types of data. Okay. We can add in the storage. Like imagine if I talking about the cool. So cool data is a infrequent data. Infrequent data means or like imagine that I I make one file. Okay. And I save it. Like imagine. Uh, 
the data we are not using daily basis that is known as infrequent data or in uh, or you can say that we can have a cool for a cool access star so if i'm using cool access stars so i'm only like the data which i'm say over there is not accessed daily daily okay that is known as cool in hot the data i am saving in the storage we are able to access that data daily like imagine um, um, i save the data in my office office employees attendance data imagine that so every day office uh, uh, office employees comes and uh, make attendance okay so that attendance data is known as hot hot access tier so if if you want to access the data regularly then you can use hot access tier if you don't want to access the data regularly or means you can say that uh, in uh, once in a week or twice in a week you can access the data so we can use cool over there okay so it's up to you that which type of data you want to save in this storage okay so if if you know that this the, the data which i am save in this storage is is access regularly but then you can use hot okay or if you know that the data which i am saving in my storage is not access regularly once once in a week or twice in a week so then you can use cool access star so right now i'm using hot access star okay now click on next after that now they asking you the method so we have three types of method public and and point to all networks like if i choosing this all network so it means my storage uh it means the request to this storage is ac uh, acceptable to all networks like imagine if i have uh, different different networks i have 10 network 20 network 30 network people are there so any so if the request comes to any network the people is able to access okay it's a public endpoint all network is able to access this storage or you can select the network also like if you want to select the network you can select the network okay like imagine i have two networks 10 and 20 network so i want that only 10 network people are able to access this storage only not 21 so i am you i am uh, create network over there and i define the network okay and if you click on private endpoint private endpoint means no one is able to access this only private network is able to access like imagine i have two types of network we already know that in azure we have two types of network private and public okay so these two networks it belongs to public network you can say that public and public like imagine if i click on this so public all networks if i if i click on this i set the public network to specify public network like public network is 40 or 50 range of networks okay not 10 192 or 172 range networks so if i click on this so only private networks is able to access the resources like imagine um, i have five users who works on 10 network ip address so 10 network ip address is my private ip address so they are able to access this resources okay so by default we can use public networks and all the networks are able to access this is sources only public networks not private one okay now click on next now in advance you can uh, go for security reasons also secure tra transfer required so if you use this option secure transfer required means that uh, whenever anyone is able to access this resources okay so uh, when anyone is able to access the resources so what as you are do as you are make the connection secure okay as you are using http s protocol to secure the connection okay so if anyone want to access the resources if i enable this uh, secure transfer required so we able to use the, use http s to to access the resources okay to access the storage okay now <clears throat> as you can see the data protection so by default data protection is disabled so i am not using other options this is the new uh, new storage you can see that name is data lake storage generation 2 it's a new upcoming storage you can see that in, in azure okay so right now i am using only security so in security i am enable this secure transfer feature okay now click on snap uh, next give the tag name and this is our storage okay so now click on review plus create so how, so you can see that how we can create storage account okay so it's running final validation if everything is fine they click give me create option click on create now so now it's going to create okay storage account okay so as you can see that the storage account uh, the storage blo is created now okay i am using storage version 2 account okay now uh, it it saves in east us location okay my resource group is storage hyphen rg okay now i need to now uh, success i successfully create storage account now if i click on this storage blob blo okay my account so they gives me all the services you can see that they give me all four storage uh, this is the blob storage containers file share table and queue so they give me all uh, types all four types of storage services okay so i am using with the help of this a storage account i am able to use all those storage okay so first we can use blob one so i need to get, make a container so click on containers over there okay so now you need to 
add container so click on container okay now I need to give the name of the container okay so I give like this is my pick or okay lower cases this is all for picture okay so this is for picture so I want to save the picture so I make one container name picture okay now you have public access level so how so what type of access you want to give okay so like you can you have three types of access private means only private IP addresses for persons are able to access this container okay if you click on blog so only blog persons like who has uh, uh, read access for blog blog only so it, it has only read access like if I choose this option so like imagine if I have one user so he is able to access this picture okay but he's not able to modify anything because it's a read only access okay or if you want to go for container so you have you can see that anonymous read access for containers and blobs so it means that uh, I'm sorry we need to understand one thing also that if I click on blob so the, the, this person are not able to access this container the, this person are able to access only the blog which I am saving the, the things okay the, that only able to access this okay but I, if I click on container so in container the, if I click on container so uh, persons are able to people are able to access container plus blog both the things okay like this means they are able to access this folder also and in that whatever data I, I save they access this also okay if I choose this so if I choose a blob so he is able they, the people is able to access only this only con, uh, blobs they are not able to access the containers okay like this so I am using the access container so it means that the the, uh, uh, the user who is who want to access this uh, storage is able to access a container and blob both but it's a read only access okay fine so I just create a container and give the access container okay so as you see that container is created successfully okay so my container name is picture okay so now click on container now I'm going to upload some data on that you can see that we have the option upload so I click on upload okay and I'm click I'm going to save uh, some pictures so I click on select so let's see I have okay so I use this one okay I use this one as your picture click on open okay wait a minute okay so as you can see that I upload one picture and name is azure.jpg okay and uh, you can see that if, if you click on advanced you have the options also like what type of storage you can use I'm using the blog blob storage okay so uh, uh, we, we discussed this also uh, okay we actually are not not uh, discuss this blob uh, page blob and append blob okay I discuss it uh, in my next lecture okay so I don't want to use advanced right now okay we just go for basic in this video so now I uh, just simply click on upload I just select the file you can see that this is the picture I selected already click on open and I'm going to upload now okay <coughs> so you can see that the picture is uploaded now you can see that see see the picture is uploaded now I want to access it so you can see that the tire is hot tire okay so now click on uh, as your jpg okay and you can see that this is the link okay so I copy this link and you can see that it's, it's work with HTTPS why because I, I am enable security okay so now I just try to access this I go to uh, copy this link and click on enter so you can see that see my picture is shown okay now imagine that if I want to uh, if I want to change some settings like imagine I go to my uh, container okay uh, and uh, in picture okay I'm, I'm go to uh, access policy you have the access policy option is there so click on access policy so right now what happens there is no access policies are there right now so if, if you click on add policy you can go for add policy you can add the access like how we can give the permissions you can give the permissions also and what type of permission you want to give you want to give read write okay write delete uh, the, on, the, on the file also you can say that okay or if I click on blobs a uh, container so in container also we have the option uh, so you can see that like this we can able to see access okay access policies so in access policy we can define the access okay in this is a container also so access policy you can define the permissions if you want to give the permission you can give the permissions also okay you have a properties option also you can modify the properties also you can see that the calculate size and everything is there okay so these are the options when you click on overview they gives you the option like this so if you want to delete this just simply click on uh, this dot 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 options you have the option view download properties okay edit or uh, you can go for snapshots you can click the snapshots also you can create snapshots also you can change the tire also like imagine right now I'm using a hot tire if I want to change it you can change the tire also with cool 
okay so you can go for cool tire also okay now uh, we have the uh, delete option also if you want to delete this picture you can delete this picture you can modify the picture as well okay or if you want to save another picture so click on upload again and you can save another picture also like i i want to save uh, this one uh, like imagine this picture click on open okay and click on upload again okay so it's uploading office 365 picture okay so 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 like this we can uh, we can upload multiple pictures of like this okay like this so you have the option now click on this and i try to uh, copy this copy this full and you need to give the part like this so you can see that my office picture is opened so like this so like this we can uh, be able to access and save the things okay fine so uh, like this like if you if you want to if you want to delete something you can delete something also okay so this is the way how we can uh, uh, create storage account how we can use blob storage okay if you want to uh, make another container so you can create another container also so we can create multiple things you can see that it's not like that only we can create only one container we can create multiple containers as well okay you can define the policies also like if you click on this we have the access policy okay you can define the access policy on this container also okay how we can access this policy with the permission on this container also you can give the container permissions also read write access delete data and all those stuffs okay so like this right now uh, uh, this container is accessing public okay fine so you can change the access level also over there just check this option click on change access level so you can change the access level also okay by default is in uh, private mode okay so you can change the access level also okay you can choose the options are there okay so like this how we can use or create storage account or how we can use blob storage okay i hope you able to understand this okay this is a very basic video i'll discuss uh, uh, some advanced things also in blob storage in my in my in my next lecture okay i hope you like the video please like the video please share the video with with your friends okay if you have any questions any doubt please comment me thank you for watching guys